Small town Iowa has suffered. So when you see a process like this come to town and bring jobs to town, and it's something that, that a small town can get excited about. I don't think that any of us ever really thought about taking a cob and making a renewable fuel. I don't know who it was that thought of it or who dreamt this up, but he had a good idea, I think. So I just think it's a great way for us to have another chance to get something that you're just leaving laying in the field and it's worth something. Anytime you can take a waste product and make a renewable fuel is exciting. Everybody's talking about it. In every field this fall that we've harvested, we've had people stop and, and look at the process and just kind of shake their heads because it's just something that they haven't seen before. It's a good feeling to be harvesting something that isn't good for much of anything else and to be able to make fuel out of it. That's, that's a pretty good deal. That's kind of a positive both ways, I think. Well, making cellulose ethanol is, is obviously a new technology. Uh, we've been working on it uh, for, for many years. The process is very different from the way that we make grain ethanol today. Uh, we actually have to uh, break down the cellulose to begin with, uh, then we, then we uh, take it through a treatment process. We then add some enzymes that, uh, that break down the cellulose uh, into sugars that can be then digested by microorganisms to make ethanol. To take something that we were throwing away and uh, make a revenue-based product out of it, a renewable fuel out of it, I think that's something that, that every old-timer out there that farmed would probably be pretty proud of. You know. To think how that technology has changed from when, when my dad was young and the difference that I've seen where we were picking corn with corn pickers back when I was young up to the combines and the cob harvest and the ethanol today. It's, but I think the technology that I've seen change is nothing that you're going to see from now on up. I think you're going to see technology change that's going to do, just boggle your mind. Like I say, when you're gonna bring a son or uh, someone else back into the operation, you have to justify him being there. You have to have income for it. I look at this as a way that it produces more income for my farm and, and hopefully I can bring somebody else on board. I'm gonna buy equipment, which puts money back into the community also. So it's gonna create new jobs because they're gonna run a bigger plant, which is gonna require more labor. I think if things would have stayed the way they were in the 80s and 90s, I'm not certain that how many young farmers would have wanted to come back. And so it's nice to see some people that are looking to come back to the farm.